Needs Beyond Medicine was started in 2006, and then we became an official 501c3 in 2009. And then that same year we started Can Survive. So this will be the 12th year of this fundraiser. Obviously there was a need with other expenses that cancer patients go through, um, utilities and groceries. I mean, when my mom was going through treatment, she was fortunate enough to have those things covered because my mom and dad worked at the same time, but there's such a huge need going into things. And I think people don't understand it unless they're actually in that world of saying, well, I have all these medical bills or prescription necessities that I need to cover, but then also I'm either out of work or working less and I need help with those. Uh, other expenses while I'm trying to get healthier. With hearing the survivors speak and just getting to know them when we take their photos, uh, I think every person has different outlooks, but the same at the end of the day of just saying they're trying to survive for either their family, friends, there's obviously a driving force behind their survival and their individual story, whether it be their kids or their spouses or a family member that's helping them through it. I think each person has their own unique story. It's not like a cut and dry on saying this is each cancer survivor and this is what these people are motivating to survive this deadly disease. The biggest reason why to support Needs Beyond Medicine is of your money that is donated, stays in Utah, so it could be a neighbor, a family, a friend of yours that you aren't sure going through treatment. Uh, they could help, we could help them individually with their expenses while they're in treatment. I think the biggest thing also with 2020, which was unique that we started doing was we doubled the amount that each patient could receive. So obviously more donations will continue to help that and then maybe hopefully down the road we can increase it again with the influx of donors. Um, and then as far as donations wise, there's always our website we can go to with, with needsbeyondmedicine.org or cansurvive.org and also just Venmo. We started doing two at Needs Beyond Med. And then also, obviously, if you want to host your own don fundraiser or create donations, that's always helpful as well.